Today I would like to talk about pausing, the pause, and uh, how important that is to bring that quality of pausing in our life. In a way, pausing is the essence of meditation. It's one of the uh, very quality of meditation. When we sit or when we sit and we close our eyes, we're pausing and we stretch the pause. And uh, as well as when we are mindful of what we do in action, it's also in a way we're pausing, we're giving a break through the pause to the continuous obsession with the future or regret from the past. It's a way to become present and to access the present moment. Pausing is uh, necessary, really necessary now, especially in our Western civilization, because doing has become almost an obsessive compulsive uh, action. The society, the Western society, and particularly the um, consumeristic, capitalistic model that they, that they presented to us is very much centered around having, about possessing. Um, materially, you know, uh, you might want to have a, a new car or you might want to have a bigger house or uh, you might want to have the latest uh, iPhone, whatever that is. There is so much um, material product that is put out in front of our eyes constantly and we've been bombarded about you need this, you absolutely need this. And so on the outside there is a constant stimulation in uh, wanting to possess more even if, if we really look, we don't need it. And um, and on the inside also there is that not only for material thing but there is a this desire to want to become something that we're not or to become something that we would be better if we become that or we can improve in ourselves and uh, it's like proving ourselves constantly to ourselves to other people to the world uh, wanting recognition, wanting approval. This is all part of having, yeah? So, uh, human beings have been moving from the state of being to doing for having, yeah? So there is being, doing, having. From being we move to doing so that we end up in having, yeah? we do all kind of things so that we can have something. So this puts uh, in action a, an engine that it's almost always going internally and externally. So pausing means in any time during the day we take a pause. We just make it a habit and uh, I can a simple way I do is I pause, I close my eyes, take a deep breath and observe. Sense the inner body. Watch if there is any maybe tendency to start doing as soon as possible. Observe that. Do not judge anything that you perceive. Rest in this pause for a little bit. Inhabit that pause. Because this pause gives you access, immediate access to the present moment. We want to live life. And life is always in the present moment. So beautiful. The pause is a way to 
become more alive, become immersed in this life that is happening in this ever-present moment. So do this as an exercise, do it as a, as a practice. Maybe pause every hour for a minute. And when you start, when you open your eyes and start doing again, watch, did something change? And you will be surprised. There is a completely different quality in your doing. You can do this um, especially when you do things that you do every day, daily routine or things that you almost do uh, mechanically or things that you have to do every day anyway. It can be anything, you know. Um, every time uh, you get into the car, sit for a moment and pause. Or it can be before starting a meal. That's a beautiful uh, moment too. Or it can be in the middle of brushing your teeth <laughs> or uh, uh, in the middle of a walk, you know. Uh, don't worry, people might think you're a little loony, but you can stop. And you can also pause without closing your eyes and without physically stopping. So you can do that when you're alone, but also when you're with people. It's just a sensing in our body, becoming aware of what is happening, what is unfolding in this moment for me, if I completely stop and I, I give up the impulse that I had to do a certain things, and I take the energy that was going in outward into doing, and I reverse it and direct it towards myself, towards this moment. Sensing, being present, watching whatever arises that might be you know the mind might go like ah no I have to do this thing come on come on we have a deadline you know famous deadline that most of the time we create in our mind just watch whatever it is pause take a few more breath then start again and you will be surprised what a different quality is in the doing so and I want to make sure you you don't um uh, misunderstand me that there is something wrong in the doing. The doing itself is not the problem. Is doing with well con without consciousness, without presence that I'm talking about. It's the doing for having that it's a little bit um, it, it's it's an unconscious uh, way of doing. So there is also the doing in itself that can be done without that purpose of reach a goal, of changing something, of especially having something that is, you know, maybe having um, a bigger car because you work harder and you get a bigger paycheck, or it can be like more recognition from, from other people, whatever it is, be aware when you do something how much of that um, belief that you need to have that thing is underlying your doing. So anytime we can do without that um, goal of having, doing becomes a creative act. That is creativity. So it can be anything. I can um, wash the floor and just be so present and wash the floor that it becomes a creative act. And so it can be I paint or, or I, I, I am a sculpture, I make a sculpture, but I don't quite know what is going to come out of that. And I just let it unfold moment by moment. It can be anything from the simplest act, you know, it can be cooking a meal. You know, I, I don't like stress out because I have to finish this by that time. And um, it can be, wow, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. So that takes you into creativity. So the doing becomes creativity. So we go from being to being creative.
to being. Yeah, we don't actually switch to having, which is really far away from our, takes us far away from our true nature. Pausing also, it's a beautiful uh, thing to do when, uh, for example, you are becoming suddenly very angry because something has happened. And uh, in pausing, you're able to wait a few moments and respond instead of react. There's a big difference between the two. Reaction is automatic. Response is um, it's part, it comes out of awareness, out of presence. It reminds me of a story that Gurdjieff, uh, Gurdjieff was a master that was teaching in France in the 50s. Um, quite a mystic an amazing teacher. Gurdjieff said, well, my father was so poor that when he died he had nothing to leave to me for me. But he called me on his deathbed and said, look, I have nothing to leave for you except one thing. And the thing is, what I understood is that, and I hope you will practice this in your life, uh, anytime you become angry, with somebody or with anything instead of expressing that run around the house four times then sit and watch what happened and he said you'll be surprised that energy there was it seemed to be like the absolute only response possible you will find that that energy has gone somewhere else it's been transformed and Gurdjieff said it was the, in, an incredible teaching for him when he was young and uh, it really shaped his whole life, what he, this gift that his father left him. So that's another way of pausing. <laughs> Instead of pausing, he was running ar around the house, but it's a similar um, thing of what I was uh, telling you now. So um, I, I, I hope you will practice this during the day as many times as you can, as many times as you remember, but make it, make it uh, maybe for a week a routine that, okay, anytime I do this action, I pause. Whatever that action is, something you do every day. Okay. Thank you for listening. And uh, I'll see you.